Hi guys, Paula here. So I decided to uh, show a little bit more of who I am. Um, as I said, my name is Paula. I'm your tarot reader for the channel Paula Thin. Um, I am also a health and wellness coach, a Reiki master, in the process of becoming a yoga instructor as well, as well as a meditation instructor. So all about healing, focus on yourself, you know, helping you, passing you the message that we are all love here and all we have to do is love ourselves first of all and then everything around us just um, transmits that energy as well, okay? So I do hope you enjoy your reading. Um, I will leave in the description box below as well my website if you want to have a look into my website, see if there's anything interesting there for you. And let's get on with the reading. Hey, Virgo, let's just start with your timeless reading, okay? And I just like to remind you that whenever you find this video, that's exactly when you need to listen to the message here. If by any chance uh, the message is not uh, connecting with you, Okay, have a look at the other strong signs on your uh, birth chart. Okay, and of course, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates, don't force energy, okay, into your current situation. So let's just start, first of all, taking the current energy from the Oracle of the Fairies. So what is the current energy for Virgo at this moment? What is the current energy for Virgo? Okay, let's see what we have here. We have protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Okay, and we also have hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So what I'm feeling here from these two cards is that some of you are really into following up with your dreams. Okay, there's something very dear to your heart that you want to um, you want to put into practice. It could be the what you feel it's your your life purpose, what you feel is right for you to do, okay? Maybe there's something that you want to create. There's there's something that um, you dream about, okay? That's why you have to hear this, protect, protect your dreams, okay? So maybe what I would say here is that don't lose hope, okay? And focus on the things that you want to conquer. Don't focus on the things on the lack of it, okay? Focus on what you want to do, maybe write it down. Focus on all those things, okay? See see the light, okay? Not saying see the light in the end of the tunnel, just be the light, okay? Write down, put it, put it into practice, okay? And like the card says, you don't have to say to everyone, okay? So while you're still creating, while this is still a baby coming into fruition, protect it, but don't give up. Don't forget about it, okay? Keep that in your heart as well. And don't lose hope, really don't. I feel some of you could actually be losing hope about something you really wanted to, um, to happen. And what I'm feeling is that don't give up on it. Okay, let's try one more time here. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm doing something a little different this time. You let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of reading, okay? So we're gonna take five cards here. First card, the recent past. Second card, your present energy. Third card, what's hidden. A fourth card, what is the message from your guides? And the fifth card, what is the potential result, okay, of the situation? So let's just see five cards here for Virgo right now for this timeless reading. One mark this. Okay. 
And let's get our five cards here. Recent past, we have to cherry it. Okay. The present energy, Queen of Coins. Lovely. What's hidden? We have the Six of Wands, the Advice, Two of Cups, and the potential result, the Emperor. Okay. So you have, it's curious because you have two major icons here on the recent past and a little bit in the future. So, and, and they're all, they're both of them very strong and very positive, okay? So all I can feel here, it's a very positive, extremely positive reading here for you, Virgo, okay? So we have here in the recent past, maybe a lot of um, hard work, a lot of decisions to be made, a lot of uh, time to move on, okay? Maybe you had to make some decision. Maybe you had to make uh, choices because you have two um, horses here, okay? And even though she is holding uh, the chain of the horses, um, she's, not, she's not forcing them, okay? She's just leading the way with the light, okay? As I, as I said before, curiously, I told you be the light okay don't lose hope keep moving forward and this is what this card shows me is that in your recent past you've been working very hard on things aligning your thoughts aligning your ideas whether this is in relation to uh, your career your relationships your your health okay you've been you've been working on this between um your mind and your soul, okay, and your body. You're trying to find the correct alignment into this. And we have the moon there as well. So there's definitely here a lot of intuition, a lot of this uh, female energy about working on your emotions, you know, trying to understand when you do something, this is what is the result, what emotion do you have when you do something else, when you think something else. So working a lot into this, because you have also here the water. Okay, and then in the present energy, we have the queen of coins. So queen of coins, of course, you are ready to put your things into action. Again, working about intuition. But this intuition is here a little bit more about um, materialized things. Okay, and not just about money, but materialized things. Maybe materialize your dreams. Maybe start putting them into action. Maybe start paying attention to the things um surrounding this dream surrounding this thing that you want to put into practice that maybe surrounding this project that maybe you want to accomplish or there's something specific that you want to accomplish so all these things okay um you it, what i feel here is like you're getting a lot of signs a lot of feelings emotions that are in relation to that but Maybe you're not really paying a lot of attention about it, and I definitely think you should pay attention to it, okay? Maybe keep a journal with you, and whenever you have some ideas or thoughts, maybe write them down, maybe on your dreams, okay? Then what's hidden here? Massive victory, absolutely massive victory, okay? The six of wands, look at him. He's here, he's recognized, he's victorious. Um, he knows his own value, he's ready for this, okay? It's all about gold, it's all about even the horse, like the horse is full of pride here. I did it, you know, we are uh, victorious. That's all I can feel here. What's hidden is like the victory is inside you. Look, there's a sun here, okay? The sun, you are the sun here. So everything is just aligned. So all these ideas, all these intuitions, all these things are perfectly aligned, okay? And the advice here from your guides, it comes this two of cups, whether this is a job, maybe you will find someone that will be um, handy for you into maybe a partnership, maybe to co-create something. Maybe there could be someone that will help you align your ideas, help you organize things or if this is a relationship maybe um 
things are getting much better. Okay, maybe you're going to the next step. Or if this is a new person, maybe you could be a promising person here. Okay. And in relation to health, what I'm getting here is just uh, be mindful of your organs, okay, that are in pairs like lungs, um, kidneys, or something like that. Maybe the kidneys here. I would even go to kidneys, make sure you are uh, hydrating yourself properly, okay, like drinking plenty of water, um, nurturing yourself, and all that kind of things. Okay, and then in the in the in the result we have the emperor. Okay, emperor, the owner of things. Okay, he delegates. He knows exactly what he wants. He he does the job properly. Okay, he's the power. He is the strength. He is the one who says, this needs to be done, that needs to be, do be done. The one who delegates, okay? This could be you, or it could also be someone that has a huge knowledge about something that could assist you and it could assist you with this. Whether it's a business plan, whether it's coaching, okay? A teacher, maybe you're gonna, you, you, participating in a workshop or a seminar and this person is going to transmit to you is going to pass on to you the knowledge that you need the tips that you need the advice that you need okay now let's see here what do we have from the earth magic okay now in general Virgo I feel that there's a lot of um there's a lot of things here to be happy, a lot of victorious and uh, prosperous moments here. You have the chariot, you have the six of wands, the queen of coins, the emperor, it's all positive cards. There's not one here that I would say, maybe, you know, you should be careful about this. Not at all, not at all. So let's just get a final advice from the earth magic oracle. Lotus flower, unfoldment. It's time to unfold, Virgo. It's time to shine from that, um, from that mud, you know, from that hard work, from that old planning thing that you've been just dreaming about. It's, it's maybe time to start um, accepting help from others okay be kind to yourself look at this dna karma okay there's a lot of healing happening here and it could be that whoever is helping you here i feel like this emperor is someone that will be able to help you to assist you it's going to help you maybe healing some um some karma from ancestors that it's actually healing this karma from previous uh, generations, future generations, and helping you unfold, helping you open to this, that it is you, happen to your essence, helping to your life purpose here, for you to figure out what you actually um, want to do here, what you feel is the right thing to do here, okay? Because look at this... Um, this lotus flower, okay, you see here in the sun, it's like a hand. So what I feel here is like a helping hand helping you to shine, okay, helping you to let the light bright up your days, bright up your project, bright up your heart, okay. And again, with this DNA here, we have a lot of healing with the snakes, okay. We have the root chakra here with um, the red color. We have a lot of self power here with the, the solar plexus as well. So there's a lot of um, confidence coming up with this healing, okay? Maybe some of you have a little lack of confidence or you feel that you're not ready for something and there's gonna be someone from the outside to show you, yes, you can do it, okay? And they will inspire you, definitely.
Okay, very good. So that's what I have for you. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments below. I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a great day.